We're here with Hofstra Pride men's cross country coach Finch GM Bonco and coach uh, the Pride getting ready to head down to Charleston, South Carolina for the CAA Conference Championship, uh, a date that's circled in on the calendar from the start of the season to, to get the team ready. And certainly the team has done that uh, with the last two AK races. Tell us about the schedule, first of all. Yeah, so we, um, you know, going to this year, uh, we wanted to spread our schedule a little bit, spread it out a little more than we have in the past. Um, so we were able to, you know, get big blocks of training uh, in between each races and also give us, uh, you know, adequate time to recover. Uh, so we were happy with how it played out. We wanted to go to some challenging meets, um, and we did that. We, we went against a lot of really good teams. Uh, at Van Cortland, at Virginia, and at Brown, um, and we feel that now we're we're both fit um, and pretty well rested and, and ready to go into this meet with our best effort. And in the last two meets, uh, the both AK races, uh, as the CAA championship is, uh, times fell like crazy on the, on the Pride roster. Yeah, uh, the guys have been getting fitter uh, each week. You know, workouts have been going better, practices have been going better. Um, and then, you know, they, they took care of business on race day and were able to get the results uh, that they were capable of. Now let's look at the roster, uh, a seven-man roster for the Pride this year, uh, led by a graduate student, uh, uh, a transfer from the University of Miami, Douglas Dorado. Tell us a little bit about Doug. Yeah, Doug's been a huge impact for us. Uh, he's a very mature kid. He really loves running. Uh, and he's, he's very motivated, just everything he does, uh, every day, he, he's trying to have the best practice he can, have the best week of training he can, uh, and that's kind of, you know, stacking on top of each other, and uh, he's been getting better each week, and, and we think, again, uh, he'll improve going to this race from his last race. And the guy who has uh, finished second in two of the three races this year, uh, sophomore Alan Hetherington, uh, has shown uh, great improvement this season. Uh, he placed 36 the CAA championships last year. Uh, tell us about uh, Alan's improvement this season. Yeah, uh, Alan's, Alan's a really, really tough kid. Uh, he, he has uh, an ability to do as much work as I've seen anyone do. He's, he's so motivated. Uh, he wants success so badly for himself and, and so badly for the team. Uh, and he, he just has the highest standard of, of doing everything. And, and so he's been like that since he's gotten here. Um, and it's now starting to really add up. Uh, and he's, he's the fittest he's been, and he's really ready for this race. Uh, junior Jack Finlayson, who finished 21st, he was the second finisher for the Pride last year at the CAA Championships. Uh, he placed second at the last uh, meet at the Brown Rothenberg Run. Uh, tell us about how Jack's season has been going. So uh, Jack was very happy with uh, some of his, his earlier workouts and, and earlier races in the season, uh, but he's been able to really progress every week. Uh, you know, coming in every, every Tuesday workout is almost like seeing a, a new Jack each week. Um, closer to where he was at the end of last season. Uh, and after the Brown race, we actually feel like he's ahead of where he was at this point last year. And we're expecting him to have a really good race. Uh, he's our captain. He's really like the vocal leader of this group. Uh, he's really competitive uh, and he, he kind of has, has a big chip on his shoulder. Uh, and that translates to the rest of the team. And uh, He really wants us to do well uh, as a group and he's, he's been pushing the guys pretty hard. Returning to the Hofstra roster this year is redshirt sophomore Riley Lita. Uh, he set out last year, uh, but he's been running well this season. Tell us about it, uh, how his uh, return has helped the team. Yeah, uh, getting Riley back is huge. Uh, he's he's a very talented runner, um, and he's been getting better week to week. Uh, he he ran really well at Brown. Uh, that was a season best for him, uh, and we think he can run even better uh, going to Charleston. And sophomore Rodney Churchill may be the X factor for the Pride this season. He's been uh, a little nicked up this season, but uh, tell us how uh, his state is heading into the CAA championships. So uh, we rested Rodney at Brown, uh, which was able to you know, have him recover a little better uh, you know, from the race before at Virginia uh, and get some good training in as well. Uh, Riley, uh, Rodney's actually got one of the fastest AK PRs on our team, uh, and so we're hoping that he can be pretty close to that uh, this week, and he will really help us. And two other juniors round out the roster. Mike Simon and Austin Jenkins, who have also shown the improvement over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, uh, those two guys are really important. Uh, you know, we only have seven people uh, running at this meet, and, and we hope that all seven have the best day of their lives and the, the best race that they can run. Um, but sometimes things don't fall that way, and so it's really important that they run really well just in case someone has an off day, uh, and also the, the potential to displace uh, you know, some scores on other teams. 
six teams in the CAA championship. Uh, obviously, the favorite is 15-time uh, defending champion, uh, the tribe of William and Mary, uh, who won last year with 36 points, uh, after finishing sixth. Uh, your goals for this meet and what have you expressed to the team? Uh, so our goals are to, our major goal is to beat as many teams as possible. Uh, and the way we do that is just to have each individual really execute their game plan, uh, run very tough in the middle of the race, uh, really compete uh, over the later stages of the race and, and beat as many people as they can. Uh, you know, these races can, can come down to a lot of close battles uh, and making sure that we get those few points in, in each of those little battles uh, can really make a difference at the end of the day uh, in the teams that, that we can or cannot beat. After at the CAA Championships this Saturday, October 31st. Good luck, Coach. Thanks, sir.